What is corporal punishment? Corporal punishment is when parent, legal guardian, or teachers attempts to stop an unwanted behavior by causing the child to physically discomfort or pain. As seen in the images, corporal punishment includes spankings, slapping, punching, and objects such as belt, paddle, and cord. In this video, we will be showing some pictures, videos, and interviews regarding corporal punishment. No, get back down there. I didn't tell you to move. I don't know. Give you something to do since you want to be bad. Stay just like that. You want to be bad all day, you can stay like that. Now in nearly half the states, teachers are permitted to hit their students. And according to a report today from human rights advocates, nearly a quarter million kids got hit during a recent school year. What's especially troubling, a disproportionate number of minorities and kids with disabilities were on the receiving end of the corporal punishment. Here's Kelly Wallace. Hey, baby, Dickie. Heather Porter couldn't believe it when her son Cameron, who was three at the time, told her he'd been spanked with a paddle at his preschool outside Houston. I just feel like I could, I, like I couldn't, I couldn't uh, protect him. You know, I don't, I don't even um, spank him with a paddle at home. According to a new report, boys like Cameron are three times as likely to be paddled in school as girls. Of the quarter million kids physically disciplined across the country, African-American girls were hit more than twice as often as white girls, and kids with disabilities and Native Americans were also more likely to be hit. The report's authors say corporal punishment creates a violent school environment and is not conducive to learning. So when you compound that with students that are already have obstacles to getting a good education, like African-American students or special education students, that really creates a double-edged sword. Corporal punishment is against the law in schools in a majority of the country, but remains legal in 21 states from Wyoming to Florida. And it often takes the form of paddling with a teacher or administrator using a paddle like this one. Opponents say it's a form of abuse, but supporters disagree and say it works. You know, they may think about doing something, but when they think about corporal punishment, that fear will make them say, no, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. There's been little research done on the effectiveness of corporal punishment in schools, How you doing? Good morning. but plenty of studies have shown it doesn't work in the home. It makes them more aggressive, more delinquent, it makes them have more mental health problems, um, and some of these outcomes even last until, until adulthood. Woo! Heather Porter's son now goes Woo! to another preschool. She hopes the paddling he received will be his last. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York. I want to ask you about um, corporal punishment. So the first question is, what does corporal punishment mean to you? To me, as far as a teacher is concerned, corporal punishment is a type of punishment that will, that is involving, you know, physical harm or physical things. So say, for example, a good example is slapping you in the head because you did not understand what I want to say or maybe as a form of punishment because you did not do your assignment, so what do I do? You know, like in the Philippines, they tell you, said, okay, you did not comb your, you did not cut your fingernails, so the teacher will have the, the what you call, the ruler and hit you. Or sometimes we used to pull your hair because you're not paying attention. In other words, Corporal punishment involves physical things. That's how I interpret corporal punishment. Second question. Are there any positive or negative effects of corporal punishment? Oh, more of the negative is it impacts physical harm. Okay. Although, 
based on our cultural uh, exposure, you know, we think that corporal punishment is good at that time. As as we grow into the into the profession, we fully realize now that corporal punishment is not good because you are affecting the students' feelings and in their education too. Third question: Have you experienced being physically disciplined or punished? Oh yes, <laughs> especially from my parents. But as far as my teachers where I was in the grade, I never had that chance to be punished physically by my teachers because I was a good student. Okay, but from my parents, yes, because I was a bully. So the last question, what is your opinion about corporal punishment? My opinion about corporal punishment is mixed. There are students who really need it, and there are students who don't need it. But the way I look at it, okay, if the corporal punishment is not severe, you know, like maybe a slight slap in the hand, you know, a slap in the wrist, to me that is okay. But I don't know if you can have that demarcation of what is severe and what is not uh, when you implement it. So the way I look at it, it should not be, it should not be done at all. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I miss, my name is Dominic. Hi, Dominic. And today I'm going to interview about corporal punishment. First question What does corporal punishment mean to you? Corporal punishment is using a type of physical consequence if someone does something bad. So, for example, like slapping or spanking or whipping, right? Next question. Are there any positive and negative effects of corporal punishment? I think there are some positive effects because if you um, if you tell your people that this is the consequence, it might scare them more, and so they might not do the the um, crime. But then there's also the negative effects because it might, you know, it might physically ruin someone's life if they're they're severely punished. Third question. Have you experienced being physically physically dis disciplined or punished? Like getting spanked? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I grew up getting spanked with the slipper or the belt, so um, I didn't get spanked often because I was afraid of it. So I, uh, I made sure I had good behavior. So th I think that's a good thing. Yes. And last question. What is your opinion about corporal punishment? Um, you mean like in school or? General. In general, I think we should have it more in our criminal system. That way, people, because it, it, it's kind of embarrassing too, yeah, if you get punished that way. So it will bring shame, that feeling of shame, so you won't want to do something. Also, I think it will lessen crime if we had more types of corporal punishment. Maybe even in school. Like, like in the olden days when they used to spank children. Yeah. I think they still do it in the United States though, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't want to do it. I would leave that with the principal. So. And this is it. Thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. That was fast. Yes, that was fast. Good. There are positive and negative effects of corporal punishment. As we speak, some places around the globe are debating whether if corporal punishment should be implemented or not.